Well, as we look ahead to Halloween, like so many other things this year with the pandemic, it's going to look a little bit different. ABC 27's Jada Williams joins us live from Beard Street right now. Jada, local doctors have a warning and some advice for people heading out this weekend. Well, Channing, it's all pretty simple. Those local doctors say that if you plan on doing any type of activity, you want to do it outside. And if you plan on trick or treating, just make sure you're doing it all safely. Now, here's how that looks. Trick or treaters should keep their mask on while out. For families passing out candy, Tallahassee Memorial Healthcare suggests using an extender or leaving the candy for children to grab themselves. There is one concern this weekend, and that's the uh, Halloween events that are happening indoors. Now, they say that if you are going indoors or if you are touching anything, well, just remember that it may be contaminated. It's much more long lived on glass and, and, um, and smooth surfaces. So candy wrappers, it's probably not going to live very long, but it might live a few hours. And therefore, it probably makes sense if they get the candy from people's hands to use a little bit of the alcohol wiper uh, on, the, on the thing, let it dry, and then eat the candy. The other alternative would be leave it in the bag for several hours before you start eating it. Dr. Dr. Robinson also suggests wiping the candy off or letting it sit for a few hours to make sure that there are uh, no germs on it. Now, we know that a lot of you are looking forward to uh, being out and being able to safely enjoy the holiday tonight at 6. We will talk about how one neighborhood is turning those door knocks into mailbox visits. Reporting live, Jada Williams, ABC 27. Thank you, Jada.